to also recognize that architecture is made of questions such as who is hosting in the room, how people will sit, in which way they are actually behaving in the place become crucial. I do believe architecture is not a single building that gives an answer to one single territory. I think architecture provides us with a platform where we can think our special knowledge in a complete different way. And we always think that people's behavior inside an architecture is one for everyone, right? But to explain my doing architecture through a project that I initiated in Boden, north of Sweden, it was about the right to all of us to be a host and not only eternal guests. And working with refugees and actually among them myself, as a, a newcomer to Sweden, I realized that our only way of existing is to behave as good guests. And in some way, if you don't act, if you don't host, the new agency is taken away. And I will give one very simple architectural example. In Boden, we created what we call a public living room, the Madafa. And that public living room was created in a social refugee housing on the ground floor and where refugees began to host. They host themselves the city rather than only being hosted by the city. And when you ask refugees, does it, or the people that were part of this project, does it really change if you are the one inviting the mayor of Boden in your living room or you are the one going to his office in the municipality. And they say it is a radical change. When he is hosted by us, we have the power. We are the one deciding what to eat. We are the one managing the discussion. We, are, we have not to be grateful. I mean, he should be feel, feeling grateful because he is hosted by us. The moment we are in his office, we are hosted by them.